Members, will you please be upstanding in your seats to welcome Roberta Merzola, the President of the European Parliament and a great friend of Ireland. Not often we see a welcome like that extended to a visitor. Air Kish Roberta Metzola, Uchtaran Parliament in Horpe, Harchan Holti and Da Hyak, Agus Harmichon Fein, Quirim Fodgerot, Quig and Gohi Shaw, the Hihe on Arachtish. President of the European Parliament, Ms. Roberta Metzola, on behalf of the members of both houses and on my own behalf, I wish to welcome you to this joint sitting of the Houses of the Arachtis. I also wish to recognise our Irish MEPs present uh, and the members of the Diplomatic Corps and, uh, of course, Michelle O'Neill, MLA, who I believe is also with us. Uh, President Metzola, Merhaba Bechbira fil Parliament Irlandes. President Metzola, you are very welcome to the Irish Parliament. We welcome you as the President uh, as the President of the Ninth European Parliament, one of the key institutions of our European democratic structure. We salute you also as the third woman to lead that venerable institution, following the exemplary leadership roles of Simone Weil and Nicole Fontaine. Our European Union was founded on the values of peace and democracy. These values have been sorely tested since its foundation. We are now experiencing the greatest test in our lifetimes with the war in Ukraine. It is almost one year since Russia started this unprovoked and unjustified war. In that time, it has caused inestimable damage to the fabric of Ukraine, which can and will be repaired with global economic support. But it has also caused irreparable damage to the place of Russia in the world and to the Russian people. The European Parliament will play an important role in building and maintaining support for the restoration of Ukraine and its inevitable accession into the Union. The members of these houses have had the pleasure of hearing recently from President Zelensky, who has become an extraordinary leader for his people. And we, as a people, have done our utmost to support the Ukrainian people, and we will continue to do so for many years to come. President Metzola, Ireland has been at the centre of the Union since we signed the Treaty of, of Accession to join the European Economic Community in 1972 and join the community on the 1st of January 1973. You speak to us today as we are celebrating 50 years in the Union. Membership has been truly transformative for our country. We went from being a small, closed economy and somewhat inward-looking society on the western outskirts of Europe to becoming a larger, ever, op ever more open economy with an export-minded and outward-looking people at the social and democratic heart of the Union. Most of the great social cha changes in Ireland over the last 50 years have been driven, at least in part, by European legislation and values, values which we were proud to willingly embrace. We have a saying in Irish, there is no strength without unity. We are truly stronger together. President Metzola, I invite you now to address these houses.